this thing on. Ugh, I'm still waiting for little bird. What's under my eyes? And um, I think she's sleeping, but I, don't, I didn't want to wake her up. And I waited till nine from six when I was watching this dumb movie called Man in the Iron Mask, just because it was on. And uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was like a little tiny boy then. And Gerard Depardieu, Depardieu. I gotta ask, um, I gotta ask Skinny over there in Paris. How do you say Depardieu? Depardieu, Depardieu. Anyway, I wonder if he ever runs into that guy in Paris. Cause that was like an obsession of mine for a while in the 1990s. I liked him so much. And then I heard some bad stuff, like he's a criminal thug, he's walking the streets, like that's a true story. Oh, hey, by the way, I don't have a baby, but baby wipes are the most uh, amazing invention that mankind has ever known. Besides pasta, of course. You could remove eye makeup, you could clean your refrigerator. Oops, too much. You could clean your refrigerator, you could clean your counters, you could clean your floors, you could clean your... You use them in the art room, you clean up paint spills, you can use them in your... Dusting your whole house, washing all of your floors, washing every floor. Um, you could use, there's so many uses. I mean, I could be here. I'm supposed to make a short video, okay? I, I'm not gonna tell you every use. You gotta figure it out for yourself. Get a baby wipe. I, once I was in uh, the Tajays and this kid who I used to teach art lessons when he was younger, here I can go low. Uh, I go low, low, low. So he, anyway, so this kid I used to teach arts lessons, so I'm gonna make the story short and then I'm gonna hang up. He goes, um, he goes, he sees me and he's packing up uh, stuff in the baby department. I was like, oh, look at the cuties. Now he's packing stuff. And uh, I, he said, oh, he's a uh, Miss Jill. Uh, uh. That's, that's, a, that's just my alter ego, Jill. That's not the real uh, Dawning. Okay, so anyway, he's like, he's like, hey, uh, did you have a baby? He was all excited for me and he's gonna, like break out the, um, you know, break the glass and, and break the, break the, you know, oh, my earring. I didn't plan that. I don't plan anything. <laughs> I don't plan anything. And then my earring, it was so perfect. Wait, I'll, let me show you how perfect it was. Look, if you look down with this black and white dress, you wouldn't expect it to have a lot of yellow in the situation. I got a yellow scrunchie later. And then you go down to the socks that are rainbow, and then the shoes that don't seem to match because they have flowers, but somehow they seem to all, I think they come together, but I don't know. I, I usually never know, and then I just do it anyway. So if it, you know what, let me open this from Little Bird. It's a scrub from Paris, France, and it's, she was all worried about it. She was so worried that the oil separated from the salt, and I said, who cares? I mean, you just stir it up. It even came with a stirrer, a scoop. I don't know if the scoop's for the matching lotion. Oh, that smells. Oh, it's divine. It's divine. It is very liquid, little bird. In case you're watching, it's, it's very liquidy. But I, it's no problem. I make my own scrubs with salts, sugars, and olive oil. Sometimes avocado, because I'm running with the times with different oils. It's not all about the, the olive oil. So look, little bird. I scooped it. Let me show you close in case you're already back in. By the time I post this, by the time it downloads, because I have 8,000 videos, I got to talk to Johnny Rigatoni about maybe buying more storage from. Oh, I spilled a little. Don't tell. Don't tell him. Shh. Don't tell him. All right. The, look, I stirred it. I stirred Oh, it got on my engagement ring of the day. That's going to be hard to shine up. Oh, by the way, that's my engagement ring of the day. And I missed yesterday. So I'm going to have to double back, double down. Right? It's an elongated oval with a extended royal um, halo, like a crown, not a crown, but a queen. Cause I always say I should be, if I was queen, I would do this. If I was queen, I would do that. If I was queen, I would make a decree that, oh no, I'm spilling. She said, oh, it was hot in Chrissy's, oh, I gave a name. In Chrissy Cuckoo's, uh, Chrissy Cuckoo's apartment. That's veiled enough, right? Nobody would know. How many Chrissy's are there in New Jersey or Chris D's? You'll never find her. <laughs> you could try to look, but you're not gonna find her. I'll shake it. 
I remember she's living where this guy who used to, I rented another apartment of his across town when I first came here and it was a great studio apartment. And he had like, he's an Italian guy and I can't say his name, but it was such a funny, if I could say it's like, it's got inherent humor value in it. And he would say, um, he had this whole Roman garden in his back, in the backyard. And then on my apartment upstairs, I could hear it dripping all night long. And it was like, they were like, it was so Italian. It had like, like these, um, these like, it had like a Venus de Milo and then she's squirting water out of her finger <laughs> that's so italian all that that stonework and stuff and brick anyway so uh this guy used to say to me uh he used to say don't bust my cubes don't bust my cubes donny and I, that was his expression i was like we don't use that expression in patterson i like i we might say something different but we don't say the thing about the cubes like we use a different thing to de a monica to, to describe uh the cubes of the body so I'm not gonna go too deep into that. Anyway, uh, I'm waiting for um, 